Hey everyone, Ian here at Emmy Performance. Today we want to compare our new cast Evo 10 oil pans to the OEM ones. And sure, we could talk about its 1.5 extra quarts of oil holding capacity, the removable baffles, the 1/8 NPT port for oil temperature gauge. That's all cool but boring, you know? And since Something like this isn't something we can put on a dyno and test horsepower or see how much faster it makes the car in the quarter mile or how many drift points it gives you. I figured we could kind of show you how durable it is compared to the OEM one. And since we don't have an OEM pan available, I figured this watermelon would do. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. So I figured today we'll take a look at some of the trials and tribulations that your stock oil pan may go through. We want to make sure that this thing's going to hold up to any of your needs and we're gonna compare it to the Watermelon Evo 10 oil pan. Seedless, it is seedless, so. First test, let's just get this out of the way. It's the super sharp cutty thingy. Test, we're gonna, we're gonna just see how she does. I mean, right away, we've already got a problem. Oil's gonna leak everywhere. Eric, can you see that? Okay, so this is a fail. I, I, let's consider this a fail. Uh, clearly, the uh, OEM one did not pass. Let's see if this one can uh, can hold its uh, hold up to its uh, duty. Um, I, that, I'm deaf in my left ear. I, I can't. All right, guys. And now our next test is going to be the light impact test with this giant hammer thing. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a fail. And now we're gonna test the map. Cast oil pan. <laughs> I call that a pass. I mean, it's got a little neck, but. Yeah, it's the deep impact test part two. We get the stock Evo 10 oil pan test. And the map Evo 10 cast oil pan. Should we review the pan? Let's review the pan. The results? I'm not gonna put this in my car. Uh, it's not gonna hold any oil. It's just not good. I mean... This on the other hand, I'll put this thing in the car right now. Overall, I think um, some silicone and fresh case of oil. This car is ready for the track, fellas. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Wait. Eric says wait. We have one more test. What, I have another test? The good old truck test. Truck test. Boys, this is a Duramax test. Go back old Jake. All right, guys. Well, that's all the testing for today. Clearly, you can see the OEM oil pan slash watermelon. <laughs> it failed every time. Let's take a look to the left here, the factory one. Not so factory one, this is a factory one. What's the map one? As you can see, Jake's tire just all did, kind of polished it up a little bit, actually cleaned it up. Looks a little bit better than it did coming out of the factory. Thanks, Jake. And thank you, Duramax. So I guess this is it. And I got a pack of smokes rolled up in my sleeves and I don't even smoke, but I feel cool. If you want to feel cool, subscribe to our channel, mmaperformance.com. Again, I'm Ian. Thanks for watching. <sighs> I gotta poop.